just have a look at this incredible location. Right behind me, you can see the fourth rail bridge. That's the one further away. And closer, the fourth road bridge. Just over there, out of shot, is the Queen's Ferry Crossing. Yes, all three of the crossings across the Firth of Forth. Yes, today I'm here at Port Edgar. Haven't been here before, but I believe that it's a beautiful marina to walk around, have a look at the yachts, and also a great place to grab a burger, a restaurant called Down the Hatch. So, fancy joining me for a wander around Port Edgar and a burger by the bridges? <laughs> Welcome to Rog Vlog. a little timeline for you. The fourth rail bridge was built in 1890. Yeah, 1890. All those years ago. What an incredible structure. Now, I'm going to take you for a closer look at the rail bridge later on in the vlog, so do please stick around. The fourth road bridge was built and opened in 1960. And this one is the Queen's Ferry Crossing, the most recent road bridge, opened in 2017. So here at Port Edgar, you've got great views of all three of the fourth bridges. The rail bridge, the original road bridge, and the latest road bridge, the Queen's Ferry Crossing. There's quite a lot to see here at Port Edgar. There's a set of shops, restaurants, which we'll get to. And what I'm going to do now is going to have a walk out onto the marina. See if we can find any really posh yachts to look at. There's plenty of information down here about the local flora and fauna, what to watch out for and a little bit of the history of Port Edgar. Now, it's very windy today. I hope you can actually hear this. And it's very, very changeable. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's dark clouds. Typical Edinburgh, really. All right, let's walk out onto the marina itself. Isn't this incredible how it's framed by those two colossal bridges? What an incredible location this is. Oh my goodness, what's about to happen? I think I just got video bombed. lot of work going on here on the marina so I'm not actually allowed to walk too much further out along the jetty but the view from here is just spectacular however far I walk well I think I'm ready for my burger so it's time to go and find this restaurant called down the hatch it's over there in the Port Edgar Center There is a more upmarket restaurant here called Scott's and you've got smoked salmon, you've got citrus seared scallops, porterhouse steak, spicy pork tostada, breast of duck. This would be worth coming of an evening, I think. But I've heard good things about Down the Hatch's burgers, so that's where we're going today. Thank <laughs> you. 
example, the music's quite loud in here, so I'm going to have to keep talking so that I don't get a copyright strike. So in Down the Hatch, they've got a great selection of burgers, but I'm just going to go for their signature Hatch Burger. Oh my goodness, take a look at this burger and all these fries. Let's go in for one of these fabulous chips. Well, they're actually skinny fries, but they're always chips to me. Mm. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, absolutely perfect. I mean, that is a handful, isn't it? My goodness. Beef patty, crispy bacon, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and pickles, gherkins. Now that is a very tasty burger, and the bacon is really, really crispy as well. Not sure what the sauce is they put on. It's not your standard sort of mayo. It's definitely a sort of ranchy, almost maybe a slight barbecue here, but absolutely delicious. Washed down, as always, by a hot cup of Americano coffee. That is a really nice, strong, flavorful cup of coffee. I'm really impressed so far. Well, that food has well and truly gone down the hatch. I can wholeheartedly recommend that place for a fabulous burger. Now, I paid £18.75 for the burger, the fries, the cup of coffee, and a bottle of fizzy water. So on a par with the likes of Five Guys, I think price-wise, but not compared to Five Guys, flavor-wise, down the hatch was so much better. That sauce they put on the burger was absolutely delicious. Now, don't go anywhere. We're gonna go and have a look at that fantastic fourth rail bridge built, as I said, in 1890. It's incredible. Let's go take a look. Right, we're right underneath the fourth rail bridge now. This is Hound Point Terminal here in South Queensferry. And if we wander along the jetty here, we're gonna get a fabulous view of the bridge. So it's cleared up a bit now, blue skies again, much better. You can see those fantastic cantilevered arches of the fourth rail bridge. Incredible engineering. What would absolutely put the icing on the cake now would be if an LNE or a Zuma train came hurtling across the bridge. Fingers crossed. If you stay in Edinburgh, it's well worth coming out here to South Queens Ferry. You can hop on a Firth the Fourth boat trip. Obviously, you can see the fabulous bridges, but the little village of Queens Ferry itself is well worth a walk round. Typical, isn't it? I'm waiting for a train to come and absolutely nothing. As soon as I walk off the pier, you can guarantee three will come at once. And here we are with a perfect view of the rail bridge and the 1960s road bridge right here from Queen's Ferry itself. And finally, a train. Not an LNE or a Zuma, but a train nonetheless. In fact, there's another one.
Well, I had to come and touch the fourth rail bridge. What is it I always say? Feel the power of history. Well, thanks for joining me for this little canter around Port Edgar and South Queens Ferry and those fantastic, fantastic fourth bridges. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you need to do is to click the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon. Until the next video, remember, there's always something to see and to eat. So get out there and find it.